Hey guys, welcome back to Terrible Stories that I have in stock for you. I'm tired as frick, that's why you can see the bags under my eyes. Uh, hopefully it's not a seeable on camera, but I guess it's just what we're working with, I guess. So today, I will be telling the story on how my library teacher flipped the frick out. Because I wasn't reading a book. <laughs> Jesus, Brayden, you had one story after the other, and then... Uh, I don't get you anymore. I don't get you anymore. Well, I don't get you anymore. So yeah, let's just tell the story. So it was just one regular day. You know, I got up for school and you know, of course, that day I had library. I'm not a big fan of library. What about you guys? Are you guys a big fan of library? If you like reading books or whatever, I don't judge you. I personally don't like it. I think I read, you know, it, it's fine. I mean, I have read books before. I've enjoyed it. I just don't like doing it in my free time, I guess. But, um, yeah, you know, it just started out as one regular day. I got dressed, I went to school, and, you know, we had our early morning class before specials. Now, I was insanely tired that day, you know, kind of had a lot of, you know, yeah, a lot of issues going on, you know, you know, mentally. But, you know, it's fine, you know, I, I think all our minds get fricked with. Now, as a YouTuber, it's legally, you know, promise these days to make sure to ensure your audience that you are staying hydrated so make sure you're drinking some uh, little f you know fluids or whatever my personal you know Mountain Dew right now since uh, the stores don't have my favorite drink at the moment so I'm gonna have to drink Mountain Dew as a uh as um as a side dish beach I ain't no side dish since when the frick did you could talk just make sure you're staying hydrated while watching this video thank you anyways back to our scheduled program um, yeah, and so I had my early morning class. Was this, this was third grade, by the way, and if you remember from my other embarrassing video, I'll pop it up on the screen right here. You should go watch it. <laughs> link in the description, and link in the comments, go watch it. You know, it's about how I wore a jacket that said I like girls to school on it. And pretty embarrassing, but whatever. People probably think I'm a, I'm a tryhard. I'm not no tryhard, okay? Okay, anyway, back to our scheduled program. Um, you know, I had library class. It was that same year, third grade. Uh, and I didn't really like my library teacher that much. He was kind of rude, you know, very, very rude. He kind of, you know, he kind of looked like, um, <laughs> he kind of looked like Abraham Lincoln, to be honest with you, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, he, um, he flipped the frick out just because I wasn't reading a book. <laughs> I mean, come on, I mean. After our early morning class, we had library, so we all went to library. It was at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. I was tired as frick. And, you know, it was storming that day. I had to, you know, kind of walk in some rain. It was terrible. It was a disaster, I would say. It's just so fricked up. And, um, yeah, so library, you know, it was just normal. I just wanted to get the day over with. I was kind of having a bad day, you know. Again, mental issues, you know. I'm not the best mentally, so... Um, you know, we were just reading the books, and he had, like, this, like, little audio clip running, and I was tired as frick, and, you know, let me just say something. I know teachers always kind of say, like, oh, you know, you should really think about what the students, you know, like, you shouldn't bully them, like, you never know what's going on in their personal life, you know? And yes, that is a very fair point, but I feel like teachers need to kind of understand that, too, and not, like, yell at their students for, like, the littlest things. Now it's just easy for the audience to be like, oh, Brayden, you know, you weren't reading the book. They had a reason to yell at you. You know that, right? Wrong. You know, thing is, I was reading the book. I was following along, but the book would not stay open. It was one of those stupid, crappy old books that you get from the freaking Corners comic book store. It's only like one dollar piece. Like, it's stupid. And the thing wouldn't stay open. It was falling apart. It, it, was, it was scratched up. It was all very dumb. It was very old. Freaking book looked like it was from the 1930s or something. And like they, they just fished it out of the freaking Great Depression or something. Because my lord, was it bad. And the teacher just kind of looked at me and was like, Brayden, wake up, wake up. You know, you, you, you know I know it's 9 a.m., but you got you got to wake up here. You got to pick up the program. You know, what teachers always have to do to get the students' attention. You know, it's, oh my god, 6 a.m., early morning, America crap, yeah. 
And then I was just like, oh, 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 okay, okay. And again, I was reading the book. I was trying to stay up. And I did stay up. I guess the teacher just kind of looked at a wrong time when the book was closed. Again, I was trying to keep the book open. It was old as frick. Once again, 1930s Great Depression book. Me, early morning, 9 a.m., trying to keep it open. Trying to keep it open, you know? It would just, it just, it was one of those books where you're like, it was open and then it just kept. And I tried to keep it together and I actually ended up doing it and then it just it kept, it kept doing it. It kept falling over and closing the book. So he kept looking at the wrong time and he was like, oh my God, Brayden, you're not reading along. He said it again. You know, we were all reading together as a class. Everybody was just kind of tired. You know, it was very silent. We were just listening to like the audio book. And then once again, trying to keep it open, tired as frick, 9 a.m. class, 1930s Great Depression book. And then all of a sudden, Brayden, oh, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Apparently, third strike is out in library class when you're not reading the book properly. It happened a third time. I was keeping the book open. It kept falling over. I was falling asleep. And eventually, I just gave up. I wasn't going to read the book anymore. I was just closing it. We were almost done with the book anyway. It was like probably about like 20 minutes before class change. And then all of a sudden, I was starting to fall asleep. And then he was like, Pardon! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, do I really needed to do all of that just for a skit? But he flipped out. I'm talking, he full on screamed in front of everybody. And one of my friends at the time was in, you know, the back of the class. We like, we kind of like to, you know, we really, um, we really, really love to kind of just, uh, goof off in class, you know, it's pretty funny. If you know who you are, if you're watching, if you, maybe you're not, I don't know. But if you are, you know, thanks for making that year great. You're probably, like, the only kid in that school who actually listened to what I had to say, but anyway. Me and him were also trying to goof off in class, too, at that time, but I was a little bit too tired at that time. I just tried to fall asleep, and then he was just like, ready to pick up the freaking pace. He started to full on scream in front of my face. He even came over to my desk where I was sitting at with a bunch of people. There's like four people at a desk. I was one of them. And he came over to my desk and he screamed in my ear. He was like, you freaking open the book. And of course I was just like, oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll open the book. And then he grabs my hand. Right. He grabs my hand and then he pulls. Well, he doesn't. Really, okay, I'm like I'm kind of making this sound like he, you know, did something that could probably get him suspended. No. Okay. Look, he's a great, great guy. Great guy. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying he's a great guy. He's a great teacher. He probably I probably deserved it anyway. <laughs> okay. He didn't pull me, but he you know he forced my hand. He was like, Brayden, you need to come here." And I was like, "Oh, okay." So he you know takes me to the do to the to the door to the library door. And then, uh, yeah, I just basically stand there for the rest of the class. And, uh, yeah, I was kind of just, um, <laughs> I was just, like, I was just sobbing. I was just, like, <laughs> I'll open the book next time. I'll open the book. That's one quote he said. He was, like, open the book. And I was just, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not my fault that the book was fished out of the freaking 1930s Great Depression, like I said earlier. But he wasn't having it. This scream could probably be heard hallways away. It could probably be heard even if the loudest plane on Earth was running its engine right in front of you. His scream still would have been heard. It was that loud. We're talking 30-year-old Abraham Lincoln scream. Full on. This had me woke up for the rest of the day. I was crying. So after that class, really, you know, I was just kind of like, oh my god. Like, I was embarrassed in front of the whole class, including my friend at the time, which he kind of understands, you know. Like, we both kind of get yelled at teachers all the time. I mean, it's nothing really, you know, out of our nature, I guess, you know. I mean, it is kind of funny to troll the school. I mean, it's pretty funny. It makes for some good memories, that's for sure. Tell you what, I went that whole day, and he was even like, Oh, you're gonna cry now? You're gonna cry? Even though I just yelled right in front of your ear, almost making you deaf, basically. 
I might as well have just went to the clinic and just honestly got a hair check after that because I, I genuinely think I was half deaf for the for like at least the rest of that day. I went on with my day, you know, we had recess and before recess, I remember one of these kids, even in lunch, one of these stupid girls or whatever, she was like one of those sissies. She was like, oh my God, Brayden just got yelled at today in library class because he wouldn't open the book. He is such a freak, such a freak. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a freak. So yeah, lunch, that was after lunch, and then, you know, we, after lunch was recess, and before recess, one of the kids snitched on me, he was like, hey, uh, teacher, because my teacher had no idea that the scream was even, I mean, I'm kind of surprised, I mean, you could probably hear that thing from freaking 10 miles away. I'm talking Kansas City to Houston, Texas, baby. One of the kids snitched, and he was like, hey, teacher, uh, Brayden got yelled at by the library teacher because he wouldn't open his book. This is none of your concern, even though this literally happened hours ago, and it's, you know. So I kind of started to kind of cry. All right, you know, I was just, I, it, I was third grade. I was like nine years old at the time. This was probably like January of 2018 or something, for God's sake. Probably a year before I even started the channel I'm at now. Just like only a few months before I even started the Braid Nation, before YouTube terminated my channel. Crazy facts, I know. The teacher was like, Brayden, what's wrong? You know, like, kind of like, you know, trying to reinsure me, and I just wouldn't give her a straight answer. I was still shook. This was probably like 12 p.m. now. This was probably like three hours after that. I was still shook. She just lets me off on a warning, just being like, well, next time, you know, you need to open the book. Oh, I'm sorry, I tried to, but you literally got this book from freaking sandpaper. But yeah, um... That's just one of my third grade memories. I had tons and tons of stories in the third grade, um, which was probably about, it was like 2017, August 2017 to May 2018. So those were some good times. Made for some embarrassing stories, like with the coat jacket, uh, I love girls thing on it, to now the library teacher, open your book, beesh. I think I didn't already try that. Dude, it's like six in the morning. I'm being so loud right now. I have neighbors. I literally have neighbors. Look, the sun's coming up and the sun's coming up. Look at that tower, by the way. The sun's coming up and look, I literally have a neighbor right there. Anyways, this has been one unsuccessful story. Um, like and subscribe. I finally got comments back. Also, 7-Eleven. Oh, do I want a Slurpee? But, you know, guess we'll just go to Cracker Barrel instead. Yeah. <laughs>